interfering with my videos, in this case, creating background noise over cancel. Remember the change of my voice too. They made such a great attempt to mock God that they gave me no choice. And soon I'll release a video, probably tomorrow, that will cut the whites, Jews, and LGBT off and their offspring from heaven, and the, the verdict will be irreversible. I'll give you until then to make your case as to why you think that's not fair, okay? I shouldn't have to explain why it's logical. Okay, so in this video, I'm really briefly going to touch on some scriptures that prove who's better than who, because that's one of their issues. And I think that you need to understand that they're very petty, and their reasons to persecute me are so petty, it's hard to believe. And that is a part of it. So let's talk about some wisdom, and, you know, we'll get into the next video. So I'm going to do this video in probably three parts, three or four parts. Okay, this is part one. Proverbs 17, 23. The wicked accept bribes in secret to pervert the course of justice. The words rapist and racist are connected, as is the obvious fact that they cheat me as complete idiots. A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. Okay, so people are supposed to keep moral wisdom in view. Proverbs 18, 5. It is not good to be partial to the wicked and so deprive the innocent of justice. Okay, so people have to be punished for their actions in regards to divine judgments. It is not good to have too much mercy for the wicked and thus to deprive the innocent of justice. The lips of fools, the actions of fools, lips of fools bring them strife and their mouths invite a beating. The mouths of fools are their own undoing and their lips are a very snare to their lives, their actions and the path they come through. They need to accept my leadership and spirit before it is too late. Before a downfall, the heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to heaven but by me, especially if they try to cheat me out of my right to lead at this key point in human history. To answer before listening, that is folly and shame. He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. On that issue alone, they will suffer. Everyone outside the divine order will suffer to the extreme forever. Not much, uh, and, and on top of everything else. Okay, so that issue by itself is enough. See Proverbs 31 as well. Again, he who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord, a true wife. The poor plead for mercy and the rich answer harshly. One who has unreliable friends soon has come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother, that is God. And I have to make this with background noise because uh, racists are persecuting me and I have no other place to make it. They're fuming my room, fuming my car, it's a hot day, everyone's going out like bitches and this is key and why I'm right to them. The groups I did before everyone else, they're leading the charge, everyone knows it. The recent ruling of Roe versus Wade, unacceptable, okay, just sexual control fanatics. I'm really sick of their bullshit and I've had far more than enough mercy on it. Proverbs 19.1, better the poor whose walk is blameless than a fool whose lips are perverse, right? Better the poor whose walk is blameless than a fool whose lips are perverse. It is unforgivable that women date toward these rich scoundrels who control the left-right paradigm, who just made abortion illegal while they're raping, 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 and one in four little girls are raped because of their culture, their rules, and their policy. Unacceptable. Raped or sexually assaulted. Proverbs 19, 14. Houses and wealth are inherited from the Lord, but a prudent, excuse me, are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Discipline your children, for in that there is hope. Do not be a willing party to their death. A hot-tempered person must pay the penalty, rescue them, and you'll have to do it again. So that's just what happened, where I knew that they were not going to do the right thing, and I did the right thing by giving them the max amount of mercy, because no one can blame me for damning the white Jew and LGBT communities to hell. We'll discuss that in a later video, but if you have a viable counter-argument, please present it. Time is running out, even if it costs you your job. Okay, this is far more important than any job or any family. Listen to advice and accept discipline, and at the end you will be counted among the wise. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. What a person desires is unfailing love, better to be poor than a liar. See how it goes on and on about, hey, choose the poor guy who's persecuted for righteousness' sake. Okay, it goes on and on about that, Proverbs 19. Again, Proverbs 19, 1. Better the poor whose walk is blameless than a fool whose lips are perverse. That's every wealthy person, every financially stable person, period. Okay? Flog a mocker and the simple will learn prudence. Rebuke the discerning and they will gain knowledge. 
A corrupt witness mocks at justice and the mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Penalties are prepared for mockers and beatings for the backs of fools. Penalties, the punishment must uh, fit the crime. And when they're punishments against God's reproductive cycles, when God is the creator, then their offspring must pay as well. And they've made it so that they have no more valid redeemer after them gone. The parable of the tenants is the most important parable. Last of all, he sent his son. He said they will respect him. They did not, after all the warnings, after all the moral discussions, all the religious discussions, all the martial arts discussions, they did not, after all the, the things they've learned from their personal experiences and their DNA has picked up on, they did not respect God's son enough to rally to him. And it's because the white Jews and LGBT community were leading the charge. And that goes on in the history of the universe, in the history of the spiritual realm. God has noted it well.